Hey friends, I hope you're ready for a massive two-day, seven-hour whole house speed clean with me before the Thanksgiving holiday. I busted out all of my best cleaning tools, my best cleaning products to give my house a really good deep cleaning before Thanksgiving. And I just wanted to set aside the time to get some serious deep cleaning and do all of the things that I put off during my regular cleaning routines and kind of do the things that I always forget about. So get ready for some super satisfying cleaning motivation. So on day one of cleaning, I was basically just picking things up from the living room in the kitchen because I was going to deep clean and shampoo our carpets the next morning. So I was planning on picking things up in the kitchen and the living room before Mike, my husband, helped me move all of the furniture out of the living room so we could have a completely bare living room to really give the carpets a good deep cleaning. If you guys are just stumbling upon this video and you're new, I'm Jamie. And if you've never watched any of my videos, you're going to see a lot of deep cleaning in today's video. Um, and I think this might be one of the more, the most satisfying cleaning videos I've ever filmed. I really love to deep clean. I love finding the products that truly work. So you're going to see me use an array of some of my top cleaning products using the top cleaning tools to really get my house clean today. And I kind of like finding ways to clean those hard to reach areas and, you know, like not just picking things up, but really getting down and finding those places that we really need to clean. So I would love to have you guys join my journey. I would love to have you guys come back each and every week. But if you guys are new, make sure you say hi to me. Even if you're not new, you know I like talking to you guys in the comment section. I just hope that I can build an uplifting community here on YouTube. And I think that um, we can all kind of be friends and uplift each other in the comment section. So we can build a little community of friends together. surprise do you see all of that stuff that was under the couch i think there there were cheerios tortilla chip crumbs popcorn a chip clip applesauce pouch top and a piece of a puzzle also a mini book and i even found a pumpkin and some chapstick so an array of things when there's complications you withdraw and leave me to be when there's a problem you become like go so just to end on day one, I was picking up some of that stuff that was on the floor and then I was going to vacuum up the crumbs and the food and then I was going to go to bed, go to bed early and wake up the next morning and get to work. I found that when I need to clean my carpets, kind of having it all ready to go, I'm much more motivated than when I need to do a lot of other things before I clean the carpet. So it's like saving the hard part for, you know, right when I wake up so I can just get to work. It just seems like I have so much work in the morning if I still have to pick things up off of the carpet. It's overwhelming. And um, 
I knew the next morning uh, Mike was going to have the kids out of the house because we were obviously cleaning the carpets. So we were going to have them out of the house and I just wanted to get everything done the night before and then wake up and get to work and clean those carpets. And then they were going to be pretty much drying for the most of the day and I was going to tackle other areas of our home and I was trying to do some deep cleaning which you will see I also got into some really gross places um, that I haven't cleaned in a while like my drains in my bathroom have you cleaned your drains in a while that's something that I needed to do today as well as clean all over the rest of my house So I know it's hard for you guys to see, but I kind of pointed it out, but we did have a stain on our carpet. Um, some pop had gotten knocked over. Does that tell you guys where I'm from? I'm from Ohio and we call it pop, not soda, but some pop had gotten spilled on the carpet thanks to the twins. And I had used some regular spray cleaner that did not take care of the mess. So I knew that my carpet cleaner would take care of that. And I just love this machine. I've been using it all over my house to clean my couches and mattress and carpet all over. And I just think it's great, especially if you have kids and pets. Make sure you guys stick around to see some more deep cleaning I did in our bathroom downstairs and then upstairs. I typically do a big deep clean before Thanksgiving and Christmas because we usually have a lot of family over. But this year we're keeping it pretty small, I think just like everyone else and it's just um, our parents. So not a big celebration like other years, but I still kind of had it in my mind that I wanted to use this time of the year to do a big deep clean. Um, you know, we all get busy and I like focus more on basic cleans and sometimes we kind of forget about doing the deeper cleans, the deeper stuff. So I was able, that's what I wanted to do today is just focus on getting into those areas that I always put off and I could do some, you know, deeper cleaning and it just, and honestly felt good at the end of the day to get all of those deeper clean cleaning tasks marked off of my list. So here in a minute, I'm going to talk to you guys about something different that I noticed when I was cleaning the carpet this time versus all of the other times. And I think it's all due to my new vacuum and the performance of that, but I will explain all of that here in a minute. One big difference this time, because I think I've cleaned my carpets two or three times since we got this machine in the spring, is I notice usually I've had, I have to walk around after I clean the carpets and pick up clumps of hair. And there were a few 
right here, but it was mostly red, which I know is from um, my new Christmas blanket. And then there was one here where we never vacuum because there is a chair here. So I don't know. I mean, it either could be just the fact that me keeping up more and cleaning the carpets that it's pulling up hair. Um, like maybe it had been pulling up hair from multiple years um, or it could be the new shark vacuum that I got and I think that might be it um, I'll explain what type of vacuum it is what I think about it truly um, compared to my Dyson here um, as I continue to clean but that is one very noticeable difference in cleaning the carpet this time like usually I have to walk around and grab big chunks of hair off the floor but I didn't have to this time Tell me how so I know it's hard for you guys to tell, but there was a lot of marks on the wall. The camera honestly does not do it justice, but we had a lot of greasy fingerprints and marks. Um, and then the vent needed to be cleaned. It was really dusty. So I got this new attachment for the vacuum. It was super cheap off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down below and it just clips on to your vacuum and you can use it to get into the vents and into so many other areas. I think it's called a horse hair brush and then those little bristles get right into those vents and clean them for you. But I was going to clean the walls to get all of those fingerprints off and I was just using a damp rag with warm water and some Dawn dish soap. It does a really good job of getting all of that stuff off without stripping the paint. So I'm gonna have my Instagram right here. You guys can come over and find me, say hi. Um, obviously I share more of my life, more of my personal life over there. So I would love it if you guys would come over, find me and say hi. And then I was moving on to areas of the kitchen that I really wanted to scrub. Um, so I started out with the oven because I'm using this Easy Off. It's a the fume-free kind, the Easy Off, and you need to let it sit for a while. So I sprayed it on there to let it sit before I went in to do some more deep cleaning in the bathroom that is off of our kitchen. So what are you guys doing for the holiday? Like I said before, we typically see uh, my family for Thanksgiving. So um, it's like my family for Thanksgiving and then we see Mike's family for Easter. We kind of split it off like that. But this year we're just keeping it with my immediate family. So my immediate family is going to come over. We're keeping it small. Um, we usually see my whole extended family for Thanksgiving, but we're just trying to keep it small, um, but still enjoy our holiday. But let me know what you guys are planning on doing. Are you having family over? Are you going to see family? Um, but yeah. And then something I haven't done in a while is clean my grout in this bathroom. And I know you guys are probably thinking, yeah, you clean your grout all of the time. But it actually had been a while since I had cleaned my grout in here. So um, I use my Resolve Foaming Carpet Cleaner. I put it on the grout, let it sit for about half an hour, 15 minutes, half an hour. I guess it just depends. I was taking a little bit of a lunch break and then I started scrubbing. Um, and I do have two 
rubbermaid power scrubbers so one for the floor and the bathroom and then another one for other areas and i do disinfect them after every use just in case you guys are interested um, or you're wondering but i also plan to use this little guy upstairs in the bathroom I love using this Bissell steam mop in my bathrooms because I know it's getting the tile really clean and disinfecting. So I was using that and then I was going to go back out and finish up the oven after I put my hair up because I was starting to get hot. Um, but I was just wiping off the easy off and then I was going to use my Jaws degreaser and then shine it with my DIY cleaner of one part rubbing alcohol one part water and about a fingernail size of Dawn dish soap and then I had a nice clean oven and then I was going to scrub out my sink because I feel like I need to do that daily. So I know it's hard for you guys to see, but there was a lot of soap scum or I don't know what it's called, if that's considered soap scum, but it's like that red gunk that you can get like in your bathroom or on a faucet. Um, but I used my trusty power scrubber to get all of that stuff off. So then upstairs I got started in our master bathroom and I wanted to wipe things down with my Jaws foaming cleaner which is my go-to bathroom cleaner but I also wanted to clean the drain in here because it had been a while and specifically my drain gets really gross I think just because of all of my products my makeup and hair products and all of that so um it's really easy to clean the drain. I just pour some baking soda and then vinegar down there and it kind of breaks everything up before I go in and do some more sc scrubbing. Okay, so I told you guys I would talk more about my vacuum. So I have two of them. One is a cordless Dyson V7 Animal, and the other one is newer. I got a couple months ago. It is the Shark Apex Light. I love both of them. And I get asked all of the time, which one should people get? Which one do I like better? But here's the thing. They're not the same vacuum. It's like comparing apples to oranges. So I said earlier that I think the lack of the fur on the carpet after I cleaned them was because of the shark. That's not saying that the Dyson is a bad vacuum or the Shark is better because the Dyson cordless doesn't have as much power as the Shark corded vacuum. Does that make sense? So I find that I vacuum more frequently with my cordless vacuum for sure. Um, I'm much more likely to vacuum every day, grab that cordless vacuum and do a quick vacuum. 
I love using it on my hardwood floors. Um, if I had to pull out my corded shark vacuum and plug it in, I would not vacuum as often as I do. But I do believe the shark picks up more. So in an ideal deal world i will always have a corded vacuum and a cordless vacuum i kind of like using them in two different ways or different types of vacuuming so i don't know if that answers your question and i've kind of staggered them as far as when i bought them mike got me the cordless dyson two years ago for christmas and i just bought the shark vacuum so when i'm due for a new cordless one my corded one will still be great so um like i would say I like both like I can't pick one if you could only buy one then I guess I would say go with the corded vacuum just because it does have more power but I mean like if you're going to use that once a week versus you're more likely to use the cord cordless every single day I mean I don't know it's just it depends on your life it depends on do you like to vacuum um do you have a do you have pets do you have kids like there's so many variables um and that's why I like ants or <laughs> that's why I like using both vacuums I've talked about this before on my channel, so I probably sound like a broken record, but I hate the shower door, the shower doors. I hate them. The tracking, it all gets so gross. And I did this a couple weeks ago, and I just think that there's so much stuff in there that it's hard to keep up with it, honestly. And I just don't have the time to spend the amount of time that needs using a power scrubber on all of the shower door tracking. So I'm like slowly cracking away at it every week so it felt pretty good to get a lot of that stuff off of there though sitting here cleaning <laughs> I have like a running list of things that I want to start organizing um, after the first of the year I'm like just holding out until the first of the year to start organizing so I've mentioned this before but I'm going to be organizing some areas in my parents home for them and then I have a running list of things that I want to tackle here but I want to know from you guys what areas in your homes do you really need the motivation for what areas do you want to tackle do you want to organize you need organization ideas so yeah, let me know down below what areas you want to see me organize first. So to wipe down the floor, I'm using the Bona antibacterial uh, floor cleaner. Um, it can be used on a variety of types of flooring, but it can be used on ceramic tile, which I have in here. So using it um, to wipe down my floors. So when you guys are seeing this, um, you're seeing it on Sunday, I think the 22nd. So my video for next Sunday is going to be a really good one. I've actually already filmed it just because it was a big project and I slowly worked on it over multiple days, but I basically transformed the basement. I decluttered and purged all of the toys in our entire house. So here in Avery's room, in the twins room, in the living room, in the basement, which was a huge project. 
Um, and we got some organizers. We did some decorating down there, move things around. It was a project. And I also did some organization here in Avery's room. So I don't want to reveal it totally because you'll have to wait for that video. So next Sunday, make sure you have the notifications turned on um, and you're subscribed. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Um, I think this is one of my favorite videos that I've done in a long time just because everything turned out really well. There's a lot of organization and it will just be nice because when we come home because when we have all of the toy, the new toys for the holidays, they're all gonna have a place to go. And it's not gonna be like, oh, we have all these new toys, where do we put them? Like I've already purged, we have places, systems in place, so when we get those new toys, they have a home, which is great. So, give you guys a sneak peek, but stay tuned for that next week. All right, so there's more, there's more decoration up above it, but I don't wanna reveal too much because Avery was in love with how it turned out, some, some decorations. Um, more organization, so pretty cool. So I basically um, had Avery clean her room the night before, so I just wanted to go in and run the Roomba in here while I was cleaning the laundry room. And I just wanted to pick things up off of the washer and dryer and wipe it down because it gets really dusty in there. And then I was going to wipe down and disinfect the sink. A lot of the times when we're mopping, we're done, we'll throw the mop head into the sink until I run a load of rags, which is like every couple of days. So I wanted to disinfect the sink and I was just using the Jaws disinfectant. So I sprayed it on there and you just let it sit and it dries and disinfects. You don't even have to wipe it off. So I put these nice organizational systems in place, but real life means that things don't always stay like they should, um, I think, especially with kids. So the twins' clothes are kind of have kind of become a mess, so I wanted to go in and refold them, reorganize them, all of that. I've talked about this before so many times, but we're always looking for ways to kind of switch up. Um, the room we're in um, with the twins you know we're not going a lot of places these days we're not taking them out in public and it's cold here in Ohio we don't have the option to go outside for very long so they do become bored in the living room and in the kitchen so we'll bring them up to the room we'll take them down in the basement and sometimes they come up here and they get into their drawers and honestly if they're happy I let them do it. I'd rather pick it up. I mean, they don't do it every day, but you know what I mean? Like they're happy. They're having fun. I'm like, go ahead, do what you want to do. Have fun girls. So I had washed um, our bedding earlier in the day. Actually, Mike had taken care of that, um, getting it all in the washer and dryer. So I just wanted to pop in here, make the bed, vacuum our room. Um, I always, vacuuming is like one of the things that I always want to make for sure that I'm doing um, just because of the pets. So like almost every single week, I feel like I at least in our bedroom, make the bed and vacuum. Just need you to 
so i know i talked a lot about decluttering and organizing videos coming up on my channel here in the beginning of the year but what other types of videos cleaning type videos do you want to see on my channel i know a lot of you guys have said oh i want to see more vlogs or more day in the life or this or that but youtube every time i try anything different youtube tells me it literally will tell me people are not as interested in this content as other content so i do have basically a cleaning channel but of course i can throw in you know other types of things in my cleaning videos so i'm asking you cleaning content what specific cleaning content are you begging for do you really want to see if you see someone else make a comment about something specific that you want to see make sure you like give it a thumbs up so what specific cleaning do you like to see um and what extra things would you like to see me throw into those cleaning videos wait a second so settled i miss with you still it feels just like i'm waiting for something better wait a second i wanna stay up late with my heart in your head maybe stay too much cause you don't understand you got me of the night i am getting ready to go upstairs and relax go to bed we just moved the furniture back um and i'm gonna run the room button here just one last time to kind of pull the room together and have those vacuum lines but um i was going to mop but mike is going to take care of that because i am exhausted i've done too much cleaning and the floor is pretty bad so he's gonna take care of that i'm gonna go upstairs and relax but thank you guys for sticking around this entire video make sure you uh, have the notifications turned on and you're subscribed for next week's video i am so 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 excited for the extreme declutter and organize of our basement avery's bedroom all of the toys i did some organization in our kitchen so a huge declutter and organization video um, all over our house so make sure you stay tuned for that but i guess i will see you guys next time bye